Kenny, nice to get a lot of uh, players on the offensive line back, back and going. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we gained some and we lost some. So, uh, you know, we were out uh, two other guys today. We got two guys back and, you know, lost two guys. So it, it is what it is. So, you know, adapt and adjust. Does it just seem it's just like that kind of year? That kind of, I mean, well, I don't know, I don't, I don't take this the wrong way. I don't know what that means. It's the situation we're in. It's not that kind of here. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So find a way. And I keep saying that, and it's cliche. Nobody cares. Take the field. We got to find a way to run the ball better. We got to find a way to be more explosive. It doesn't matter who's on the field. Nobody really cares. There's a, there's a group of 100,000 people who may care enough to understand the situation, then everybody else in the world has no clue. Nobody cares, right? We got to find ways to be more productive. Do you wish to elaborate on the two or do you want to talk about it? Oh, we can talk about it. Side Glass uh, is back. Uh, Bram is bit, Bram's going to be out this week. Uh, and then uh, Joey is going to be questionable this week. He obviously didn't practice today. Uh, I mean, Kate Griggs will be questionable. Uh, and Sione will be questionable. So, uh, you know, we kind of we lost, gained one, lost two. During the uh, break, but you know, I think we get a, got a chance to get three of those guys, those guys back. And then I know you're out here twice last week, but just first practice back off by. How do you feel the overall energy was? Yeah, I thought there was a lull there in the middle of practice during seven on seven where we just stopped competing, where we just kind of were running the plays. So I got the guys up and I said, we're not just going to run football plays. That doesn't win. Plays don't win. Right? The attitude in which you run them wins. So I stopped them and. I thought the last eight plays of set were a pretty good response. When you get Sean Connor, Max, Crunch, like out there, and they're learning on the fly, how are you thinking about the game? What does that do for them and for you guys in the long term? Oh, getting, getting young guys like that, even Bram. Bram's, you know, never started in college football, and he started three games uh, for us. So having three guys who, two are young bucks, one's played football for a year and a half, the other's never played college football, and the other true freshmen starting for you and getting these reps, uh, it's it's unbelievable experience for these guys. And uh, every game they learn something else. You know, they grow and they learn, and they may fail at another top at another thing, but they continue to learn and grow. And you know, in year, in two years from now, and three years from now, these guys will still be on our roster. Right? It's kind of funny because I, you know, I wa I'm watching Florida State right now. And we had a kid named Mo Smith who was our starting center at 260 pounds in year one. He's still the starting center at 295 pounds in year four. And it's really cool to see him and then another guy named Darius Washington. Shout out to those two guys, Kelly. I was thinking about those guys the other day. And just like the stuff that those two guys have been through playing when they probably weren't ready and battling and fighting as these true freshmen. And now they're these seniors on an undefeated team and they're the leaders. So I, you asked that question and that's what it makes me think of. It makes me think of those two kids who uh, I coached, you know, four years ago now, and to see their success and what they battled for where they are now is just a testament to, you know, what we're trying to build here. Coach, you talked about the importance of explosives. What are the keys to your players tapping into their full potential and being have that consistent explosiveness? Yeah, it's not necessarily as much the potential. A lot of explosive plays happen with effort post whistle, and then you know, if some people aren't naturally explosive. They may be giving it all, but their ability is just, I'm not an overly explosive player. I'm a guy who's going to catch it, I'm going to get drop step, and I'm going to get nine yards, and we're going to clap, and it's going to be a good play. Then you have other guys who are going to get the ball and run, and they're probably not going to go for 40. They're probably going to get tackled for a game of 15 to 18, right, or 17, whatever that is. I think the key is we have to be explosive in the details to become explosive right now in offense, which means we have to be so detail-oriented with how we are crack blocking and we know when the rotation is going to happen. So when we run a certain play that gets to the edge, we get to the edge on one player. And then it's make one your, your one guy miss. And it's our job to get the guys who can be explosive the ball in situations to have one-on-ones. So I think to answer your question, yes, to play to their potential, but this isn't about them playing to their potential. This is about us our staff putting them in the best positions to be successful. Coach Gallingham, what does uh, having two graduate transfers like Ben Coleman and Travion Brown uh, help for your program on and off the field? Yeah, I mean, uh, Trey has been an unbelievable leader for us. Uh, he's just an unbelievable person, unbelievable player, unbelievable leader, like I said. So he's really established the identity of what our defense looks like right now. 
And obviously Ben's been out, but you know, Ben's a vet, everybody likes him. Uh, he's just been out, so he hasn't been able to establish that leadership like I know he can, but he will next year. Beautiful. Thanks, Coach.